each and every one of you, and God bless the United States of America. I feel like Ted Cruz made his choice last night to not hold true to his word and not be the man of his word that he said he would be. I don't really like Ted Cruz, but my respect of him shot up because he stuck to his guns. It sounds like he was making a statement for another run. He was Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is uh, all for the cruises and uh, you know, he believes that he's been given the gift of presidency. I've heard some of my colleagues from other states say that Cruz really, you know, in sharpened the problem. But I don't think that's the case because Ted Cruz has always been a, you know, conservative first, Republican second guy. And which, you know, he doesn't follow the party leadership and he does what he thinks is morally right. Well, now is not the time for him to stand up for himself. I have heard it said that with some Democrats, if Obama came into their house and killed their wife, shot their kids, shot the dog and burned down the house, they would find some reason to make that okay, okay? And it's as if Trump did go into Ted Cruz's house and shoot his wife. And so I can understand his reluctance to endorse. It's shameful for the state of Texas. I feel bad for their citizens knowing that they have Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz came in second. The people spoke and elected Trump. They all fought about bringing the party together during the primaries, but then when it comes to bringing the party together because they lost, they don't want to be a part of it. They're sore losers. I understand they wanted you to be a Republican no matter what it cost you in your principles. He was trying to reach those people who say, never Trump. The Republican Party has sort of been in the Civil War since 2010. I wouldn't really say it's because of Trump specific, specifically. He just took advantage of this civil war. Uh, the reason like, I won't be supporting nor voting for Trump is because I feel that he scapegoats and attacks those groups who can't really protect themselves. If it wasn't for Trump's rhetoric, I could vote for him simply because I think Hillary is a pretty bad candidate. Your kids are about to be pushed over a cliff. If Trump is the only one available to rescue them, you'll be shouting words of encouragement to him. It's a hope and a prayer that we get the Republican Party back together for Trump, for America.